G'day everyone and welcome back to Dairy Air Farms. Um, today's video is going to be a rather quick one. It's to do with soil sampling and it's to help new players out to precision farming. Long story short is I was in a Discord server the other day. Not my own. Uh, I don't have one yet and if anyone wants to help me set one up that would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, um, I was talking with a, a chap who had a question about precision farming and he was getting all sorts of weird colors on his nitrogen reading map and he didn't understand why. I'll show you what he was talking about. Let's go to our nitrogen map. He was getting, well, weird colors like this one instead of a nice red color like or orange color like this, which is also grass, and this one, he was getting darker and darker colors across his farm. Notice how this field too is, it's not a nice orange color that represents the nitrogen level or a yellow color, which represents a high nitrogen level. It's kind of a pale orange as this is very much a pale red. And it all has to do with how often you need to soil sample. Now, this is something that really isn't explained very well. Um, anywhere that I've seen, really, there's one or two channels that have covered it. And if you look at the Giants help menu in game, all it really talks about is doing your first soil sampling to determine the types of soil you have in the field. It doesn't really go into much more detail about how often you need to soil sample. So let's go back to our main menu. The only real indication we have from our precision farming tab is that black means outdated data which means you need to soil sample again. The closer and closer you get to black, the darker and darker the color gets. So you go from a nice bright red to, I don't even know how to describe that one, um, an, a dark red, very, very dark red. Now to put it simply, you need to do your soil sampling either when it gets black or I would recommend doing it when it gets close to these colors here. In fact, I'm probably going to redo the soil sampling on this field soon. As that's getting rather dark too. And so these two fields are definitely ready. That field's ready. Do I have to do it yet? No. As you can see, if we go back to the main game, I'm still getting a fairly accurate reading for this field as to what the nitrogen and pH levels are. But I would probably recommend doing it about now because I can't remember whether I have done four or five times on this field. Now that's not four or five years, that's four or five harvests. So this is a grass field. I'm harvesting it three times a year, which means I am going to need to soil sample it on a regular basis. Whereas a field like this one, which is, I think I have canola in there. It's a once a year crop. So I only need to soil sample it five years intervals. I don't need to sample it after five, well, five years, five harvests. Grass would be a year and a quarter, uh, or a year and a half, if I'm doing three harvests a year. So it's about time to do this field, and you'll see in a second the difference it makes. Now, for those of you who are new or just getting into precision farming, all you really need is either a gator or a tractor with the Isaria Scout on the back of it. Hop in turn it on, make sure you unfold it. And then you look on your menu and you press V to take a soil sample. The 
sorry, V to lower your soil sampler and B to take the soil sample itself. You'll see the circle flashing. It's taken the soil sample and we're going to send that off to the laboratory for analysis. Why? Done. Now we'll give it a second or two and the information should come back as soon as we've paid our, what, is it $50? Yeah, $50. So let's go back and take a look. Look at that nice bright orange color. So we were definitely getting pretty close to do for a uh, for a soil sample. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Isaria Pro, um, mainly because it's, the way it's implemented is not realistic. You have to. Oh, I'm going to take another soil sample just for demonstration purposes. pretty much have to cover your whole field. Ah, I hit the wrong key, sorry. So as you can see, there's going to be a gap left. In our soil sampling. So we're going to have to soil sample here here and here. In real life, you take soil samples across the field. It's, you don't have to soil sample every square inch of the field. You take soil samples at specific areas. However, using the Arzaria Scout is a hell of a lot cheaper than paying the in-game in agronomist, there, that's a hard word to say, in-game agronomist to take your soil samples for you. But I'm going to do that. So purchase soil information, yes, even though I've already taken one. And this is pretty much instant. And as you can see, my fields are nice and clear now in terms of a bright orange color. There is something you have to be careful with, and I'm going to purchase the information for this field too. It's going to be costly. Look how it's gone to a nice bright yellow. See at the edge of this field here? That's where the road used to be. And I'm going to zoom in. And you can almost see, well... It's really hard. You can see that line that goes down there. That would have been the road. So that's the edge of the field. And as you can see, that field edge is about halfway into that area. So we're missing part of the soil sample. We'll take the other field and see if that clears it up. Okay, so it, that one was close enough. Um, the field edges actually matched up. The problem I have, or I have had, is in fields like this one, where I have merged several fields together, and as you can see, I'm still getting lines because I'm not getting accurate soil samples. That is where I would drive the Azaria Pro across the field to take those soil samples. And I will be doing that soon. If we look at this field up here, 30 and 31, the edges matched up nicely, so there was no need to do it there. However, up here, and it hasn't shown yet because I um, put soybeans in after I harvested the crop that was in there and after plowing the fields together. But I did take soil samples up and down these lines. So the information is accurate. After I harvest this field, those lines should disappear. So that's just a note for those of you that are plowing fields together. And that's all there is to it. If you're wondering why you are getting strange colors in your fields when you're looking at your nitrogen levels, 
or your pH levels, it's because your data is getting, or data is getting out of date. Time to do some soil sample. Like I said, just remember, it's five harvests, not five years, but the color of your field should give that away. Hopefully, those of you new to precision farming will find that useful, and that will answer your question as to why you're getting weird colors. If you found that useful, please give the video a like, and remember to subscribe, Thank you for watching. Take care, Jay.